Lanscap 8 is Lance Pruitt, Housecap 8 for District 21. Lance is a lifelong Alaskan who grew up in Anchorage. He is a small business owner and is actively involved in the CA Foothills Community Council and on the School Budget Advisory Commission. Please welcome Lance Pruitt. Since we, uh, we already mentioned the, the stimulus money and the veto, mm -hmm. I would, I would uh, like to expound on that a little. Right now, there, there's a bill uh, that's being considered. I, I think it's House Bill 305. Uh, it's the omnibus energy uh, package, of, and it creates a, a Department of Energy to help facilitate spending that uh, stimulus money, as well as, I think it's close to $60 million more bonded money that is required by that stimulus package in order to capture the $28 million. My, I guess my question is, is how do you feel about creating another department, of, uh, or just creating a Department of Energy in Alaska? Okay, uh, that's a good question, actually. The, um, something to consider, you know, we have the, the, the 
U.S. Department of Energy. When it was created in the 70s, we had 70% dependence on uh, a domestic oil. And they created this, this organization. Well, now, uh, 30 years later, uh, we are worse off. We only use 30% domestic oil, and we have a $33 billion organization. So, you know, adding an organization might not be the way to solve that problem. Now, uh, with that being said, uh, you do have to make sure that it's placed into the correct hands. You don't want to just uh, give it to uh, the, the wrong organization within the state, but creating a whole other entity, especially since what it sounds like you were mentioning, for a temporary situation, a temporary amount of money, probably is not the wisest uh, decision uh, in the long term. Yeah, Dave Harbour. If you uh, if you heard from the audience, my way is the highway. My way is a bullet line. My way is a spur line. My way is Chakachamna. My way is Susitna. My way is hydro. My way is wind. My way is geothermal. Faced with all that as a politician, uh, you hear the still small voice of private enterprise saying, let it go, we'll take care of it. How do you respond to all those voices? Um, I, I personally, I, I like the private sector uh, approach to things. Uh, now with that being said, the, there is a place for government to pave the way for the private sector. Now is that what we need to do here in these situations? Well, these are pretty large projects. Uh, does, we have to look at it in the sense of, if the private sector won't do it, is it the right thing for government to do? Is, is it going to have a return on it, or are we going to find ourselves in a situation where maybe we're losing at the end? So, I personally, again, I believe that the private sector is the best that they, for instance, when it comes to um, oil and gas, they're the, 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 the industry, they're, they're the experts at that. They do that. I would prefer to see them do that. And, and in, in turn, that sometimes means that we have to think what can we do to entice them. We, you know, the United States only has 2.3% of the world's uh, oil, and around the same way when it comes to natural gas. We, you know, other, other countries have a lot more. So when we start thinking about this, and then of course Alaska has a lion's share, you know, we have a lion's share, but we don't have all of that. Uh, we have to think about what are we going to do to for a court, uh, industry that can go other locations and they can find uh, ways to be maybe more productive to, to get these resources. What are we going to do to make sure that we keep them in here, keep them developing? So that's uh, another portion to that, but I, I think private industry is the best way to, to make sure that we can be successful. Thank you very much for that.